Good morning everybody and Hi. welcome to another Thrill Vice Photography vlog and we are here today finally back at Alton Towers and we are looking forward to an action packed day here at Alton Towers. The park is open till 8 o'clock tonight. Plenty of time to get on a lot of rides today. So I'm really looking forward to spending the day here with Jake. Hi Jake. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. Oh, where are you? I've got you there. So today Jake is wearing a, mi a mic, aren't you? Yep. And I'm also wearing a mic today, so hopefully you should be able to hear us pretty well. Um, so yeah, we've got in the park, so they're letting in the people into the park a lot earlier. So we're actually in the park for half past nine this morning. Nice and bright early day here at Alton Towers. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. As you walk around, you're getting a lovely welcome from the, the, the ladies there. Morning! And you, welcome back! Yeah, and they're all kind of waiting for you as you come through the door. There's something magical about walking down Tower Street in the morning. So the first kind of thing we're going to do first is go around to the Wicker Man. And we're going to go and see if we can actually see how long the queue is at the moment and try and get on our first ride on the Wicker Man. Jake, are you excited? Yes. You are? Yeah. Definitely. Of course, there's the new retro rides for the season two. Yeah. And the... Um, Grants the granny, so I'm hoping to get on those today soon. So. Yeah, definitely. And you've got your smiley t-shirt on today, haven't you, yeah, as well? Yeah, underneath that, my jumper. Yeah, underneath there as well. Yeah, and then I've got my Alton Towers one on as well. Uh, so Jake is hopefully going to kind of uh, buy something today, hopefully, as well. Ever since we came here last time, he was really excited about the ram's head uh, that was in the Wicker Man shop. So we're going to go and look and see if they still do them this season as well. But so, is that it, guys? Here we go. Alton Towers, first time for the 2021 season. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah, we are Very finally... excited. First time today. And we're yeah. quite near. You just have to go around there and back. We are so finally... So we're going to be quite close. It's about like the 20th train, maybe. Yeah, that's good. And we are finally in the queue, Jake, for... You look a man. Oh my God, it was absolutely fantastic to get back on the Wicker Man. And yeah, it rode absolutely fantastic. We got into the station, row number one, please. Absolutely fantastic. Got onto there. First of all, the ride staff for cleaning down the train literally took about 30 seconds. Something that other parks should kind of think about. You know, when you're kind of closing the ride off for about 15 minutes, it's unbelievable. Uh, 30 seconds, I said to him, well done, you beat that park by nearly 12 minutes pretty much. Um, it was just great. Um, so yeah, cleaned it there and straight on and it rode perfectly. Loads of airtime compared to last time as well that I remember going on it. It was really worth getting in there straight away to get on it. And it's only going to get better throughout the day as well. But first, let's go and find out what Jake for. Jake, what did you think of the Wicker Man? Absolutely amazing. I only like a about a half an hour wait, the shortest I think I've ever seen Wicker Man yep. actually do it. Definitely. So it's definitely worth coming here a bit earlier to get onto the rides that usually have a one queue. Yeah, and at the moment, what's the queue time? Uh, two hours, nearly. Yeah, two hour queue at the moment now. So, yeah, very busy, but 
I, I would wait in it again for an absolutely cracking ride there on the yeah. Wicker Man, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, what's the plan now? Uh, we're going to head over to Xset to do the uh, new retro ride there and yeah. also do Enterprise Slower there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely great ride. There we go then, yeah. So, yeah, after that fantastic ride there, we're going to go over now to the X Sector area to kind of get some footage of the Smiler um, and also get on some of the retro rides that they've got here at Alton Towers. After a 25 minute wait there we finally got on mixtape and it was fantastic a really really good flat ride addition here to Alton Towers I was when I first kind of heard about it I was like a little bit optimistic in terms of what you know what they were doing um, but the, the actual uh, viewing areas literally packed down there the ride itself is absolutely fantastic we had uh, the final countdown on as it was going round and it just made for the ride, it was absolutely fantastic. Really, really good ride, and I eat my own words, it was definitely worth Alton Towers getting some more flat rides in. And hopefully they'll see today, well, they'll see, it's, there's a demand for it. When you kind of go over there, like I said, it's absolutely packed in terms of people just watching it, and the queue line, you know, to say that you'd wait about 25 to 30 minutes for that, it's crazy, it really is. Um, I think it's fantastic I think it's a great achievement and a great thing to get um, it back into the parks let's find out what Jake thought Jake what did you think really good flat ride addition to Orton Towers yeah no hands no hands air time after air time wasn't it yeah really good spinny flat rides there's yeah. three of them here hopefully you can do the other two I know one's in Forbidden Valley but um, one is Correct. 513. Uh, yeah, Dark Forest. So Dark Forest. But yeah, it is just fantastic, isn't it? Loads, yeah. like I said, I think it's probably got more at the most airtime in the UK, isn't it, that one? Yeah. The proper bouncing up and down, really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Here we go then. So let's going to carry on there. Where do you want to go next? Uh, we're probably going to go down to Tower Street or something like yeah. that. Yeah, go to Tower Street first and then work our yeah. way around again. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, it's time for Jake to try his first donut chicken burger. So this is from the actual the Just Chicken by the Oblivion area. Let's see what Jake thinks of it. Oh, that's a big bite. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Donut chicken burger at Just Chicken. Mm. Why's a tree have so many... So here we have the roller disco, the waltzes here in the dark forest at Alton Towers. And as you can see, this is a brand new ride uh, for this season and it looks really good. I really enjoyed the lighting package here. Unfortunately though, due to health and safety, they can't have any star spinning the carts around as it's going around on its cycle. But it is impressive none the least. Unfortunately, there is no music at this time due to copyright issue, so it is blanked out. Next up for us will be 13. Oh, 
After an hour and 10 minute wait there, we finally got on the Mighty 13. And first of all, the actual Tesla coil was working inside the station, which made for a bit of entertainment uh, for everybody in the actual station itself. But the ride itself was absolutely brilliant as normal. Really, really good. Uh, get some good people on the train with you. It makes it a bit more enjoyable. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the surprise element in there worked a treat. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the backward launch, uh, one of the best launches uh, in the park, uh, worked as a treat as well at the same time. But Jake, how was 13? Good. Yeah, you enjoy it. What was your favourite bit? Uh, I liked all of it. Yeah, all of yeah. it? Yeah, the drop tower was good, the drop bit? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, good. And how was the Tesla coil? Uh, it's a bit noisy. It is, isn't it, for yeah, you? Yeah, I'm kind of lucky. It's just really loud. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, good. But yeah, really enjoyed it, fantastic there. And then also as well, the waltzers over there as well. Uh, a fantastic ride on there. Um, unfortunately, you don't get someone around by the, uh, the staff here like you would do at a fairground ride. Uh, they're not, I don't think they're allowed to. Um, but so yeah, they, um, they just literally just go around and if you don't put a little bit of motion into it, unfortunately they don't work. But they got, again, a great addition uh, to the park. And uh, yeah, around about a 30 to 40 minute wait for that at the moment as well. So we've still got one more left to do, which is over in Forbidden Valley. So that's where we're going to be heading to soon. We're going to, uh, we're going to head over towards the Nemesis area, get some video footage of that, and uh, yeah, get on the other, um, the other retro ride uh, here at Alton Towers. So guys, actually on the new rides, the flat rides that we've got here, it says squad, so where's the fourth one? Found it. It's in Grant's the Granny, just uh, behind the carousel. It's behind the carousel, I don't know if you can see it or not. But, yeah, we figured out what the fourth one is. Unfortunately, the Gangster Granny area is still closed here at Alton Towers. And uh, yeah, it's not gonna be open till next uh, month, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I don't really know too much about it, to be fair. Um, but Jake's kind of seen the movie. I, I don't know, really know if he's known too much about it. Let's just ask him. Jake, do you know much about the actual Gangster Granny films? Yeah, not really much, no. The only part that I know is that the ride's based on um, when uh, they rob a bank, uh, not a bank, sorry, the uh, Queen. Oh, OK. So do you reckon it'll be good? Are you looking forward to kind of getting on it when it opens? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and what have you spotted? So what did you say to me when having something to eat earlier? Bearing in mind we don't really know what's going on in terms of stuff. So, you new flat rides here, it says squad, and there's only three of them. So we found out. There's what actually right there? a fourth one we didn't really know, and I'm just going to zoom in now to uh, show you. Look, and there it is. So we didn't really know um, about this, but yeah, there we go. We've just noticed that there's a Twizzler there, a Sizzler, or Twister, or whatever way you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I mean, look how derelict it is around here. Absolutely quiet. There's nothing going on at all. And with the park um, being, uh, you know, as busy as it is today, um, you'd think that this kind of area would be opened up ready for, um, ready for, you know, to guests to be there. I just don't understand it. You know, there is a lot of people on park today. There is a, the queue lines are kind of massive. Two hours for some uh, for the smile at the moment. Rita over an hour, uh, thirteen, uh, an hour and a half, uh, and even the flat rides themselves. Fifty minutes they're going up to now. It's crazy. Um, and then you've got these new area here that just in, nothing, absolutely nothing. Look, just have a look around. It's just a shame, really, that you've got this massive area absolutely doing nothing. Um, you know, when there's so much, you know, kind of population in the other kind of bits of the park. But anyway, we are now on our way back 
down to Tower Street because the queue for the Sky Ride is far too long. We're going to get on and then we're going to walk straight over and go over to Spinball probably first and then we're going to head round then uh, to kind of the Motherway Mine Chain and get on that as well. Next up for us then hopefully will be Spinball. at 40 minutes and we waited 20 minutes for spin ball with her and yeah it's a brilliant ride isn't it it really is it's kind of overshadowed and overlooked in this part but i always seem to have a really good ride on it when i get on there I hit the um, the helix of death as i call it um, and a really good spin obviously jake on one side and me on the other it just managed to, to kind of start turning at the right time and yeah it was flying man really really enjoyed that to the point I do want to go out and down again, but there's actually a massive queue of people, just literally just crowd of people just gone literally into the queue line, um, which has made it now a 40 minutes and probably even longer than that now queue. Um, but yeah, it's all, I think it's fantastic, I really do. Jake, what did you think of Spinball? Good. You enjoy it? Yeah, absolutely flying around there today. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good coaster, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great spinning coaster. Yeah? Yeah, we even went down the drop backwards, didn't we? We did. And so the question is now, this or Dragon's Fury? Uh, I would probably prefer both. Yeah, Dragon's both Fury right. can be uh, sometimes a bit both. Yeah? Yeah, but I really like both of them. There's not really uh, any, you know, yeah. like difference. So, yeah, I, I find it... I found it really good to be fair, I found it really good. Good quality ride there on that, um, on that. And uh, you know, in a time where actually it's pretty, it was pretty quiet as well. The rest of the park being busy, to managed to get on that pretty quickly as a, was a bonus. We are gonna try and head over now towards the kind of the um, runaway mine train area. The, uh, I don't think the haunts there will be open, but the runaway mine train area and the rapids to kind of see that area as well at the same time. And then it's starting to get a bit later now, um, so hopefully people will be leaving soon and then we'll be able to get on to some of the other rides as well. There's 50 minute waits at the moment, like I said, for the, uh, for the flat ride at the moment. A little bit too long for my liking, we shouldn't be waiting that long for a fair ground ride. Um, but yeah, I want to try and get over to there later on when it gets a bit quieter and then get on later on. Um, but that is it at the moment, we're going to then head over to the other side of the park. Over in Dark Forest, the queue line was massive for the Sky Ride. So we did a little bit of a walk past Spinball, as you know, just been on it, and then went over. And by the entrance, there's no queue at all. And they said there's literally been no queue all day today. So it was definitely a top tip there. We'd probably say go over to um, just kind of by the entrance again and just carry on over. So we are on our way now to Nemesis and then the flip and flop as well.
after a 10 minute wait there, we finally got on Funk and Fly. And uh, yeah, it was a really good kind of flat ride to be fair. Uh, kind of quite intense in places as well. Um, I would probably say a little top tip for you is actually lean forward and just stick your arms out. It actually feels a lot better than just sitting there. Uh, and we were the only one with our arms up, uh, which is pretty cool. Jake, how was your ride? Great. You enjoyed it? Yeah, people saying it's the best uh, retro ride, and I definitely uh, believe why. Yeah, do you reckon it's the yeah. best one here? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing ride, really smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Especially like the lights and everything, so that's amazing light. Definitely, yeah, the lighting package on there is fantastic, it looks really good. And I think if they kind of keep these through the scare fest, which I believe they are, um, they'll get, you know, you've got to get some really good shots on the night as well. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that, yeah? Yeah. But, yeah, so we've still got a few hours left for the park. It's uh, open still, to, uh, to be fair, today. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do a lot more. The plan is to hopefully get on the Wicker Man uh, as the kind of the, uh, the kind of the, one of the last rides. We always like doing a Wicker Man ride in the dark. Although it will not be completely dark, um, it will be pretty close to that as well. So, yeah, that's the plans later on. Like I said, the park closes at 8 o'clock tonight. A long day. 10 to 8 is kind of a long day. And, uh, yeah, but it's definitely worth it. We've now managed to get on all the free flat rides. And, yep. yeah, Jake thinks uh, Funk and Fly is the best. Um, I think Mixtapes are the best one. Uh, but, you know, they're all great additions to the park. Uh, if they are going to keep them or not, I do not know. Um, but yeah, what's the plan now? To get some footage of Nemesis and Galactica yep. and some photos? And, yep. uh, yeah, and then we'll just have a quick wonder around see what else is going on. Time is half past seven and it is time to join the queue for the Wicker Man. This is the darkest we're gonna get it guys, so we might as well go and join it right now. Jake, are you excited? Yes. Yeah? Yep. So we are about to join at half past seven and then we're gonna do the ride, 60 minute queue. Yep. And then we've got something in the shop special, haven't we, to show everyone? Yep. So we'll show you when we get off, won't we? Yeah, it's quite expensive, though, I think. It was indeed, but yeah. it was something for you, wasn't it? Yeah. Right then, go. let's get on the Wicker Man.
we have just had one of the best rides on Wickerman ever. It was absolutely fantastic. Got to the station, my friend Jack's in there working away, uh, and uh, having a chat with him, put us on the back row, and uh, oh my God, what an absolutely fantastic ride. I can't believe the difference of that from last year to this year. It is running like a dream, it is flying. Uh, massive loads of air time, even though with a bar down, you can feel yourself coming out your seat, which is obviously something that, you know, you could feel before, but a lot more this time compared to what we did before. I absolutely loved it. It was kind of like, bloody hell, this is like a, a, one of the best coasters out there. You can see whatever that they've done with this ride over this close season has made it absolutely incredible. Definitely worth going on. And Jake will explain as well what he bought. Jake, what did you think? I think it was absolutely amazing. It was, wasn't it? You come off just screaming like, back row racing, wasn't it? Yeah. Incredible, wasn't it? Absolutely incredible ride. Flying around the airtime hill. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. You loved it, didn't you? And then you've got this big massive thing here. So we'll go with, we'll, what do you want to say what it is? So it's uh, the uh, skull of the uh, ram. Where is yeah, it? It's the wicker man ram, isn't it? Head. Yeah. But yeah, we bought that. And as we come out of the shop, we noticed there was two minutes until park uh, rides closed, so we got back on again, didn't we? Yep. So we're currently waiting in the queue line at the moment, and this is where we're at. But yeah, I mean, look at it now. Like, you can't get any better. Just perfect. Look at the sky. Absolutely incredible. Definitely the best time to be getting on at night. It motors round. So yeah, this is it. Last time on the Wicker Man for today. Let's have a last train on the Wicker Man. We managed to get the last ride there on the Wicker Man, the last train of the day, and it was a sensational ride there. Not quite as good as the back row that earned the kind of the first time, but it was still an absolutely fantastic ride, which made for an absolutely fantastic day here at Alton Terrace and I'm really happy to get back as well. The park's been absolutely fantastic. It's great to see the actors out in force as well, enjoying the atmosphere, kind of building it up for everybody while being here. It's been great, really, really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the new flat rides, I've enjoyed getting back on the quality coasters that they've got here. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Let's just quickly go over to Jake. Just want to see what he thinks of today. Hi, Jake. Hi. Have you enjoyed it today? Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing day. It has, hasn't it? It's been probably one of the best days here, isn't it, that we've kind of I've done together, haven't it? Yeah, of course you didn't get on too many rides, of course. Yeah, but... we did a lot for what it is, though. Yeah. But yeah, you enjoyed your day? Yeah. You're hugging your ram's head right there. Look at the size of it. You can probably see how big it is when obviously Jake's holding it. But yeah, look at that, it's fantastic. And also, I love this new lighting effect that they've got on these uh, the frogs now, look at that. How incredible does that make that look? From something that was run down last, uh, last season and the seasons before, to actually making it look beautiful now, look at that. Incredible. Um, so yeah, guys, I've really, really enjoyed my time here today. It's been absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to get back on park tomorrow with my brother. My brother's going to be back with me. Uh, we're going to spend the time together, enjoying it, getting ready for some of the big, uh, get big rides again tomorrow. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch your ass down the road. <laughs>